they're dabbling in the most extreme weird stuff it's just to sort do. of like prime you and yes. get you ready for furries. <laughs> furries are fine. I will never accept them. Well, never. Furries are having a good time and they're dressing up like chipmunks. I'll tell you what, uh, when Duncan and I did a podcast as furries, I got my respect for, for the furry community. Because oh. it's hard to keep those things on. I yeah. can't imagine fucking with those things on. It gets hot. And this is a cool studio, you know? The temperature's controlled. This is so gross. You put that thing on, dude, and it, you... You know what a diaper furry is? Yeah, they, they shit. In That's the, the lowest form of furry. Oh, the, the regular ones shit in litter boxes, No, right? I hunt them, so I'm going to tell you <laughs> what to look for. You'll smell them coming. <laughs> now, Joe, I have a job, as you know... Uh, uh, turning off people's smart houses for being racist. So the way, <laughs> I, the way I see it, it's a good thing. Want to hear a first story? Yeah. So um, this is a two-parter. No, but yes. So one, <laughs> I will tell you, I know. One, uh, we were in uh, Pittsburgh for UFC, and we just randomly happened to get there on the day there's a furry convention. So as we are driving- What are the odds? Okay. Crazy odds. As we're driving from the airport, I'm in the rental car going, what the f*** is going on, dude? You Why know? are there Did so you... many mascots? No. You didn't I know what furries no, were. No idea. No idea. So finally we get to the hotel. The hotel bar, the manager guy, explains to us there's a furry convention. What you guys got lucky <sighs> quite a few years ago. What a way to find out. At least, I mean, it's probably in the neighborhood of 20 years ago. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you just so this no <laughs> no the UFC popped in two thousand five is probably after that any diapers so maybe no I'm, I'm I think I might be off maybe fifteen years ago or four, 14, 15, anyway quite a while at least a decade ago a long time ago so <laughs> I'm not that hip on furries you I didn't not understand be. you absolutely I get be. there and the guy tells me that he had a request for someone to put a litter box in the he goes you first of all he goes you're really lucky you guys made reservations in advance because everything is sold out because of the furry convention and I'm like what so he explains they all want their food delivered in bowls on the floor and these people are all furries together in this one hotel so they're acting out they're in the lobby together they're all furries everywhere we go there's furries they're sicker than Cosby it was fun and <laughs> I mean, they're nice. I don't care if you dress like a fucking squirrel. Well, the bowl thing is you, you got to participate in my weird act. Well, it's a request. You know, you put the food in the bowl, I'm paying money. Just you pay know, me. I'm a freak. I'll Just do put it. The, I'll put it on the ground. You I'll give you an extra that. 20. Yeah. So, uh, but he told me that they wanted to put a litter box. One of the guys requested a litter box in the lobby so mm -hmm. that they could piss in it. And he's like, no, you can't have a fucking litter box in the lobby. There's like sanitation issues. But he's like, dude, it's so crazy. So anyway. Years go by, and uh, I'm uh, hanging out with a friend of mine in Utah, in the mountains, elk hunting, and he tells me that his wife is uh, a teacher at this school, and that one of the parents had requested putting a litter box in the girl's bathroom because the girl identifies as a furry, so or a cat, or whatever. So I go, what? Are you fucking serious? So I talk about that on the podcast, and then people call bullshit. They say there's no they evidence. They won't believe it, yeah. There's no evidence, but the attack, the, the, the amount of people that were calling bullshit was crazy. Yeah. And they were angry, and it got connected to Dusty. trans stuff. So yeah. somehow or another, me telling a story my friend told me that his wife told him about this public school that she worked at where they were in utah where they were saying that a mother was requesting a litter box so stochastic terrorism uh, so i go did. back to him and i say okay listen man i need to know <laughs> yeah. like what ask your wife what is what actually happened okay. so the wife didn't work at that school anymore this is because it was uh, like a year or so ago the, or maybe even more. So anyway, the wife says, what I recall was that a mother had requested that a litter box be installed in the girls' room. And I said, was a litter box ever installed? I don't think so. Okay. Or I don't know. Okay, well, that's it. But the idea that people wouldn't want to shit in a litter box if you're dressing up like a furry... Does it, why is that so far fetched that everyone's so angry? It's not far fetched. And saying that I'm s pumping out misinformation when it's not I talked to a fucking manager of a hotel who told me personally he got a request to put a litter box yeah. in the lobby during a furry convention. Because it's true. That's why. The, the, but the why truth. are they so aggressive about that one? That seems so weird. I don't care if you want to wear a fin chipmunk outfit and have sex with each other. Have a good time. If that's what you're both into, who cares? For the same reason. But why yeah. is it weird? 
if you are you saying that there's kids there's no kids out there that are so mentally ill that they want to use a litter box because i don't no, think i'm saying you're shut up right. about it that's what i'm saying don't talk about it right i'm but, transferring them to another parish but i don't think you're right and i don't think anybody would would be willing to say that there's no one out there who's not mentally ill enough to want to use a litter box because of course there is there's a spectrum of mental illness and well, I'm saying it's not mentally ill. It's fine. It's a Do you identity. understand the depth of what? Yes. Well, that's what gets really weird about the whole minor attracted persons thing. They're trying to slip that in as an identity. And people say, why are you talking about this? This is not real. No, it is real. You have to understand it seems so crazy. It seems crazy to me. I don't want to bring it up. I don't want to talk about it because it makes you look like a fucking loon. That's a good point. But it is real. And there's recordings. Right. There's video right. of politicians expressing how we have to recognize their identity yeah. as minor attracted persons. I won't look at it.